on behalf of the great people of Kirinyaga. Honorable Speaker, it begs the question, does it not prick our conscience as a house that barely four months after passing the grossly unpopular finance bill, which the president himself refused and declined to assent to, that we're here discussing an impeachment motion of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Honorable Speaker, the young people of this nation unequivocally told us to fix high unemployment levels among the young people, gross corruption at all levels of government, accountability issues in regard to leadership, our ailing healthcare sector, among other things. Honorable Speaker, many young people died on that day, Honorable Speaker. Several others to date are still missing, Honorable Speaker. It begs the question, the priorities we have as a 13th parliament. Honorable Speaker, the motion before us is frivolous, it is baseless, it is lacking in substance. It is nothing but a shambolic political scheme to hang the truthful man for merely being truthful. Honorable Speaker, we must yes, redeem yes. the 13th parliament, Honorable Speaker. We must yes, ensure that we Kajeri. give... Kajeri, take your seat. Yes, Donya. Give Donya the mic. Hold, Jerry, you have about... Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is Honorable Gasheri in order to bring things which have passed, like the finance bill, when we are discussing about the impeachment motion? Those... And, and Gasheri is my friend, but this one, you are wrong, my dear. We are discussing about the impeachment of Gashagwa, not finance bill. Let the foregone be the foregone. Honorable Speaker, I would want the Honorable Member, who is my very good friend, to point what standing order she rose on and what standing order can dis ensure that I do not speak on matters that have been controverted and that are public information, Honorable Speaker. We passed the finance bill, Honorable Speaker. It is a matter of fact. Even if you put me, I will speak. The young people of this nation deserve more. They want jobs. They want health care sorted. The impeachment of the deputy president is a sham political process. Kasheri, order. Jerry shall be heard in silence and dignity. But Jerry, your time is up. Women Rep of Migori. Yeah, yes, Wanjala. What is the out of order? Give Wanjala. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the person who is accused whom we are debating was supposed to be here by five. It is seven minutes past five. He actually is. Mr. Speaker, can we bar him from coming because oh, he's no, late? Ayala, he's already here. <laughs> yes. Megori Women Rep. Give to Fatuma. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, kindly protect me, Mr. Speaker. I can be heard, Mr. Speaker. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. Kind, Order. Excuse me. Excuse me, Honorable Member. Please give me time to speak. Mr. Order. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity you have given me. And as I stand here as a Muslim, I don't know when I'll die. In case I die before the impeachment time, I vote yes, the Shagwa must go. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I will take you to the Bible, Proverbs 23, 10, verse 11. And it says, please keep quiet. And it says, don't move an old stone that marks a border. And don't take fields that belong to the orphans.